Illustrator can be used for web graphics as well as print design. Another useful way to incorporate Illustrator's drawing capabilities is to create a slide background for a PowerPoint template. So let's get started. As always, we want to start by creating a new Illustrator document. Go to the File menu and select New. Let's name our new document slide and set the new document profile list to Web. Although our PowerPoint presentation is not being uploaded to a website, it will be viewed as a projection or on a monitor as opposed to on paper. Hence, the resolution of our document doesn't need to be quite as high in order to have good image quality. For the width, type 1920. And for the height, type 1080. When finished, click the OK button. Next, let's open up data file flower.ai, which has the logo created from the last module. Go back to the file menu and select open. Select data file flower.ai, then click open. Using the selection tool, select the flower on the artboard. Then click on the edit menu and select copy to copy the flower. Let's return to our slide document and paste our flower by going to the Edit menu and selecting Paste. Drag the flower to the lower left corner of the artboard. To create another copy of the flower, hold down Shift and Alt, then drag the flower to the opposite corner of the artboard. Hold down the Shift key to select both flowers. Then, from the Object menu, go to Blend, then Blend Options. Click the spacing arrow and select Specified Steps. Then type 6 in the text box next to it. When finished, click OK. Select the Blend tool in the Tools panel, then click once on each flower. This will create a row of flowers. Let's add some grass to our template by using the pen tool. Click to add three anchor points to form a triangle. In the color panel, double click on the fill box. For R, enter 57. For G, enter 181. And for B, enter 74. When you're finished, click OK. Select the selection tool, then select the triangle to position it in the left corner of our document. Then while holding down Shift and Alt, drag the triangle to the opposite corner to make a copy. Let's create multiple copies by selecting both triangles, going to the Object menu, selecting Blend, then Blend Options. For spacing, select Specified Steps, then type 16 for the number of steps. Then hit OK. Select the Blend tool, then click once, on each triangle to create a row of triangles. Select the selection tool, select all the triangles on the artboard, hold down the Alt key, then drag it slightly to the right to create a copy. Go to the color panel and click on the last color box. And for R, enter 79, then for G, 255, and for B, enter 0. Right-click, point to Arrange, then select Send Backward. Now that we've created our template, let's send it to PowerPoint to be used. Go to the File menu, 
and select Export. Under Save as Type, select PNG. Then click Save. Select Medium 150 PPI under Resolution. Then click OK. Now in Microsoft PowerPoint 2010 or 2007, go to the View tab. Then click Slide Master. Find and click on the Insert tab. Then click on the Picture button. Once the Insert Picture dialog box opens, locate and select data file slide.png. Then click Insert. Drag the picture to the bottom of the slide. Go back to the Insert tab. Select Picture and locate and select Data File Logo. Afterwards, click the Insert button. Drag the logo to the upper left corner of the slide. To add any more pictures, you can always go back to the Insert tab. Next, we're going to click on the Slide Master tab and select Insert Slide Master. Go back to the Insert tab, click on Picture, then locate and select data file flower.png. Afterwards, click Insert. Drag to position the flower on the left side of the slide. You can also resize as desired. When finished, go to the View tab, then click Normal. To use our templates, in the Home tab, click on the New Slide arrow. Select the desired slide layout. 